Hello Internet, I'm Scarecrow85, and right now I'm playing Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, but not as you know it. <laughs> so, shout out to the Toho Society for sending me this mod, uh, I really appreciate it. So this is a preview sample of the mod, it's not the finished thing, it's under. It's still being developed and modified. I think it's due out possibly sometime next year, I'm not sure, it's, it's underway at the moment. I'll include links in the description below to the website so you can monitor it and follow it. I highly recommend you do because this thing is super cool from what I understand. I only know a little bit about it at this point, I've read the, the page uh, and uh, the readme as I was installing this. I've had a little look at the park, I haven't put any, any, any dinosaurs down yet, but I did have a little tinker with some of the things you can build and uh, it looks a little different to some of the screenshots I've seen on the website, but this is being, as I said, constantly updated. So this is coming along really well, and I think there are some super treats in store here. I think you're going to like this one, guys. So without further ado, I'm going to dive right in. Okay, so the beginning of any park is usually the same. We build a an entrance, and then we stick in some paths, and we think about uh, getting some dinosaurs in the park. So uh, let me think. We're going to want... I always do my paths double width. Okay, like that. It means that, you know, you avoid crowding later on in the game. You know, actually, doubling up the paths like this probably isn't such a good idea. This actually comes up later on in this very playthrough. I discover that maybe that's... maybe this doesn't work out. Doubling up paths. Just saying. Oh, hi, by the way. I'm, I'm Scare from the Future. Scare from the Future. Just... just, you know, I just thought I'd footnote that because... Uh, well, you're going to find out anyway, so I don't even know why I did this. Sorry, carry on. Back to the video. Now, at the moment, I mean, that looks the same as it did originally, but that's fine. I mean, honestly, I don't know about you. I'm interested to see... Ooh. Well, there's a T-Rex skull, for example. Spinosaurus skeleton. Nice. Wait, what did that say? Uh, whoop. Oh, we got... Oh, food and drink. Yeah, we're going to need that, of course, for our visitors. Let's put that in there. There we go, lovely. Keep the visitors happy. Uh, we don't want amenities, we want... Oh, paths, here we go. Spinosaurus skeleton. The skeleton of the Spinosaurus, a decoration you simply can't help but put in your park. Yeah, I thought it said you simply can't put in your park. I was like, what? I can and I will. Oh, look at that. Oh, water. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a replacement for the fountain, evidently, but oh, wow. Nice. That is a nice centrepiece for my park. Look at that. I'm working quite quickly because I'm, I'm really eager to see I love this UI. Like, uh, I really like it when you see a, a, a conversion mod that puts in some nice details like this. Like, really makes you feel like you're playing a new game. <gasps> what the? Demetrodon? <laughs> How cool is that? Metriacanthosaurus? That is really nice. I'm going to go for Demetrodon. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to have two of those. I don't think I've seen... I mean, they're not technically dinosaurs, I don't think, but bugger it, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have two of them, and we're having them in the park. Let's do this. We're gonna want people Thanks in our park. Doo -doo. Wait, what? Oh, right. Well, we're gonna produce a di well, a sort of dinosaur-like thing. We are happy to announce the arrival of our newest attraction, Jurassic World. Ooh. Did you hear that? She said Jurassic World. How did they do that? <laughs> Oh, wow. Nicely done. How the hell did they do that? Because, I mean, this this is... What? You, okay, I'm a little confused uh, and, and surprised here, because normal, I've seen modifications for uh, Operation Genesis before, and obviously I've, I've played them on my channel, but usually you can tell what dinosaur has been modified to create the new assets. from Benjamin Lockwood. Oh, nice! Nice voice acting! <laughs> so yeah, I, d I don't know, uh, I have no idea what they've edited to, to make. This seems like an entirely new model, not based on anything. It's got its own animations, it's beautiful. It's obviously based on the uh, uh, Demetrodon that we saw in Lockwood's Manor. 
I'm, I'm so impressed. That's seriously cool. Right, let's get this open to the public. It gives Thank me you. great pleasure to declare the newest wonder of the modern world, Jurassic Park. Now open. <laughs> Weren't quite able to, to fix him saying Jurassic Park. I wouldn't have expected it anyway. Oh hi, it's me, Scare from the Future again. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I just wanted to say on the subject of the voice acting there. Well, some of it's generated. I think it sounds like a computer voice, but I'm not really sure. It might be actual people speaking. Honestly, I don't completely know. But it's a really nice touch, and the uh, the John Hammond type character making that statement just there. At this point in time, it's the original, and anything you see in this game that is the original from the uh, the standard Jurassic Park Operation Genesis version of the game. There's a good chance that that might change further down the line. Uh, the mod at the stake that I'm playing it in, obviously this is how it is and this is how it looks, but, and I don't know precisely what they intend to, to change because they're, they're updating it all the time, but I just wouldn't rule out the chance that maybe they will manage to get him to say Jurassic World. Just saying, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, anyway, uh, I'm back to Off to the Future now. Uh, fossil Team, let's go. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, so next up we're gonna build a we're gonna build a Metriacanthosaurus exhibit. Oh Hold it, hold it. Whoops. Yep, that's fine. Sorry about that, let's tidy up. Demolish. Oop. They've given us a lot of money to work with here, so I like that. I mean, uh, as much as I enjoy this as a simulation game, and the challenge of maintaining a park is present. But honestly, a game like this, I just want to see the dinosaurs running around. <laughs> Thrill window, guys. We are happy to announce the arrival of our newest attraction, mm. These look like they could be entirely original models. That doesn't look like it's modified. I mean, it's animations are reminiscent of some that I've seen in this game before, but the model is so crisp. Nice sound effects. The textures on these are really quality too. I'm loving it. So, what I particularly like about this, it doesn't just add in dinosaurs from Jurassic World that weren't previously in the Jurassic Park Operation Genesis game, or in previous Jurassic Park games, but it also adds in dinosaurs from the lore of Jurassic Park. So, obviously, Metriacanthosaurus was referenced in Jurassic Park, and it was mentioned again as being on the island in Jurassic World, and I think it gets name-dropped in written form somewhere in Fallen Kingdom as well. And they use it, the textures they're using here are based on the textures that were used on the website for Jurassic World. Uh, some really cool artwork actually was done for Jurassic World's website. Some of it was inaccurate, but for the dinosaurs that didn't already have designs in the movie franchise, it's pretty much all we got to go on. And uh, it's certainly what Jurassic World Evolution went on <laughs> for the look of Metriacanthosaurus. And I really like it. I'd love to see these guys show up in the movies. Really cool. I do like a Dimetrodon. Do you know, D Dimetrodon's been associated with the Jurassic Park series ever since the first film. In particular... Message from Benjamin Lockwood. Ooh, message from Benjamin Lockwood. <laughs> in particular, they did a Dimetrodon in the Jurassic Park Kenner toy line. Whoa. And they've shown up in several of the toy lines since. I think they've also shown up in some of the comic runs and such. I don't really know. I only ever read one of those. Hey, nice kill, little dude. Or dudette, not sure. <laughs> Very good. Whoop! <laughs> Let's see what's going on down here. Uh, we need to do some research. Yes, good idea. Best thing to do with dinosaurs, uh, with your research, is get on those vaccines as quick as you can. Oh, look at that Spinosaurus! Look at it! Ooh, a message from Cabot Finch. 
believe he's a character from Evolution. I don't actually know. I, I did buy a copy of Evolution, but it crashes the minute the game tries to load any assets. <laughs> I need a new PC. Masrani Global has prepared a new quarterly Message report. From Dr. Dua. You can examine this from the reports menu. Go to. Well done! Your addition of another dinosaur species will definitely increase your past popularity. Thank you for that entirely redundant statement. Go to. What did we get? We're, um, we're, we're looking at some ammo right now. I think that was Dimetrodon again. Oop, nope, we don't want to quit. <laughs> oh, are you hunting? Go on, get him. Oh, the other one made the kill. There's something really comforting. I suppose it's nostalgia, really, about the, the just the look of Jurassic Park. You know, the the electric fences, the dinosaurs, the tropical environment. I don't know. It just takes me right back. I love it. I've just noticed that the smiley faces have changed as well. But it looks like they've redrawn those. Those are great. <laughs> Urgent message from Cabot Finch. Oh, urgent message. Yay, we got half a star. I'm going to put a dinosaur exhibit in here as well. So, you know, you pretty much can't... I mean, look at that. You come into the park, you walk straight in, you've got Spinosaurus skeleton right in front of you, two observation uh, rooms, uh, decks, what are they called? You're in platforms. <laughs> uh, you've got eateries either side, you've got toilets either side. Come on, he doesn't get any better than that. I'm tempted to put in another cleaner station just to make this. Yeah, let's make this symmetrical. Nope, not security. What am I doing? Anyway. Do do. Cool. Look at these guys go. I reckon Demetrodon were terrifying <laughs> when they were alive that was a long time ago. Planet Earth is a scary, scary Urgent place, guys. Message from Doctor Dua. Oh, oh, oh! Hang on. What have we got? What have we got? Okay. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep researching this stuff. What's the most expensive thing? Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. Well, Message never mind. from Dr. Dua. I don't know whether... I, like, for example, over here, the Spinosaurus skeleton... Oh. oh, sorry. As you can see, the base of it is pure white. There's no texture on it. That's, that's what that is. Now, I've seen screenshots of this that show it with a texture, so I think maybe that's down to me. I think I might have installed the, the mod slightly incorrectly. If that's the case, I'm sincerely sorry. Uh, I've had a look at it, and I can't figure out what I've done wrong. I can't see any textures that aren't in the right places. Message but... from Dr. Dua. Oh, hang on. I've just realised, actually. I haven't put any water in for these carnivores. Uh, let's do that now. Uh, lake. Oh, there's a goat in the way. Urgent message from Cabot Finch. Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, we got a star! Hooray! Right, I want to just... Oh! Guys! This game can be a little bit frustrating from time to time. There we go. Tiny pool of water there, it's not much. Look at them heading straight for it. Oh, bless them, they must have been thirsty. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Metriacanthosaurus. They went straight for it. I like that their AI knows what to do. I mean, it, message from Benjamin Lockwood. Obviously, it does, but you know what I mean. That means that these guys over here are probably like dying of thirst as well. Urgent message from Doctor Dua. Okay. Sorry about that, Dimetrodons. Message from yeah, Benjamin Lockwood. Yeah, you're Lockwood. desperately thirsty and tired. You've been going for quite a while without any water in your enclosure. That's on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Watch out for the floating poop. Please enjoy. Cool. It's probably not the best idea to put it directly next door to the Metriacanthosaurus. They might spook the uh, stegs, but never mind. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, look at that. Again, the model is really nice. That's quite a big improvement on the original uh, Operation Genesis model as well. Wow, that's really good. So, there's a thing about the Jurassic World Stegosaurus that you may or may not be aware of, which is the difference between the Jurassic World Stegosaurus and the, the Lost World Jurassic Park Stegosaurus. These ones seem to be modelled a little more closely. Uh, they've got the texture and look of the Jurassic World ones, but they're holding their tails up, which is what the Lost World ones did. 
The Jurassic World ones hold their tails quite a lot lower to the ground. These seem to be sort of an intermediary, uh, intermediate, because their tails are up, but not all the way up. I don't know, they're kind of somewhere in between. I like it. They look really good. They're pretty massive, too. I like that they're moving so slowly. I'm pretty sure-ish. I haven't actually... Look, I'll be honest with you. I haven't played uh, Operation Genesis, just the vanilla version of it, for quite a long time. Uh, <laughs> so I can't say with any confidence whether or not the Stegosaurs moved like this originally or if that's something that's been changed about them. I feel like they're they're moving they're much more sedate. I feel like they moved a little bit quicker than that. Uh no. No, they're pretty slow. I I, I must have imagined that. <laughs> Message from Benjamin Lockwood. Message from Benjamin Lockwood. Oh, hang on. Oh. Okay. Uh, right. Message from Cabot Finch. It says here, uh, night time. So it shows a twister, but it says night time. So I think what we got here is the same as in the previous mod. Message from Benjamin Lockwood. So day and night is has been uh, made possible in this by using existing things. So instead of actually having a twister, hopefully nothing bad's going to happen when the twister hits. Instead, it's just going to change from day to night. Which hopefully from Benjamin Lockwood. will really look quite beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of which. Hey, look at this. I do like taking on the point of view of a visitor in games like this. Wow, look at the stegosaurs over there. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> oh. I forgot I can't take a picture of them.